Hello, everyone. Now I am going to speak about the secure federated learning with the homomorphic encryption. We are researchers in computer science, and uh, we are very interested by the cloud computing, AI, distributed architecture, and cybersecurity, especially for the industry and health sector. Here is an overview of the, the presentation. After a quick presentation of the research center, we are going to speak about the federated learning, especially on the security issue, and after about the homomorphic encryption. The CETIC is a research center on computer science and software engineering. It's a team with about 50 uh, people, and we have uh, several departments, five departments, and um, with several themes of innovation, like cybersecurity, AI, and several fields of application. Here is the, the project with Leandro. Since two years, we are working on this project for the breast cancer. The idea is to build uh, an AI to detect if the, the tumor on the image is positive or negative. For the evaluation, we use the rock curve. It's a very nice indicator to know if the, the classifier is okay or not. It's based of, on the uh, true and false uh, positive. With this kind of architecture, uh, of course, it's a distributed architecture. We have several uh, security risks, mainly between the, the central server and the client server, for example. It's possible here to have an attack. This attack between the central server and the client server is called inference attack. It's possible to obtain the information from the weight to, uh, yes, it's possible to obtain the, the information from the, the model or the data set. Of course, there are also the poisoning attack. It's possible for the client to, to obtain the information. No, it's possible for the client to, to do some uh, operation on this local data set. And for example, during five minutes, just to do a permutation between two classes. Fortunately, for each kind of attack, it's possible to use a solution. For example, for the inference attack, we can use the homomorphic encryption. The idea with the homomorphic encryption is to encrypt the data on the client server and on the central server with the aggregation, it's possible to do some operation, addition and multiplication. Thanks to this uh, encryption, it's possible to do the operation on the data without decrypting this data. Now I am going to uh, give the floor, the floor to Leandro, to explain, to talk about the experimentation. Thank you. Okay, so uh, to implement the homomorphic encryption, uh, we use the, the library created by OpenMind. Um, this library is uh, based on a SEAL API. Uh, this is the most uh, useful, uh, most uh, widely used uh, homomorphic encryption API. Uh, this library encrypt and decrypt a vector of integer using the BFD uh, schema and the vector of real number using the CKIS uh, schema. And the uh, encrypted object uh, can support the addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So it's possible to um, aggregate the result with the server. So uh, the experiment, uh, we use the, the data set presented by uh, Xavier uh, precedently. And uh, for, the, um, for the model, we use the simple CNN model uh, presented in the Flower tutorial. Uh, we use a simple uh, training configuration, so uh, 
10 epochs and a batch size of 32. And the different configuration of the number of rooms, number of clients, uh, and the training. Uh, we uh, use the um, MacBook Pro M1. So uh, we use the MPS accelerator. But uh, the library the, don't support uh, for the moment uh, the MPS accelerator. So we use the CPU only for the encryption. Okay, so uh, we, we can see the, that the encryption is fast. Uh, you can encrypt uh, 6,000 values in uh, two seconds. And, uh, but it's, uh, uh, we need to uh, serialize the encrypted values for sharing with the server. So the serialization uh, involves linearly with the number of values. And uh, so, for example, uh, we can uh, serialize uh, 6,000 values in uh, 10 seconds. Uh, we can see the memory we cry for the encryption um, increase with the number of uh, values linearly. Uh, we, we need over four gigabyte for 6,000 uh, encrypted values. And for the serialization is the, the same uh, problem, a lot of memory unnecessary over two gigabyte for 6,000 values. Uh, the, um, the library uh, has its own uh, function for the serialization. And uh, this function um, has a, a limit. In fact, uh, I found uh, the, it's uh, not possible to uh, serialize uh, more uh, 6,424 values. Exciting this uh, number, you obtain an error. Uh, so it's not possible to encrypt all of the model. And so you, we focus on the last layer. So all of the results are presented in the next slide. Uh, we uh, encrypt just the last layer. So this slide presents the time comparison uh, for the federated learning simulation of uh, 20 clients. Uh, encryption uh, starts after each local training. So it's uh, not dependent of the number of epochs. And if you uh, increase the number of epoch, uh, number of ones, you increase the number of encryption uh, phases. And the um, encryption uh, increase the time simulation. Uh, for example, for the uh, homomorphic encryption process, so encryption, serialization, uh, deserialization, and decryption, uh, you need uh, seven minutes uh, for the uh, yeah, seven, seven minutes difference between uh, without homomorphic encryption and with homomorphic encryption. encryption. So it's uh, negligible um, compared with the training uh, time. Uh, the encryption add a noise to the data. So um, there will be a, a, a slight difference uh, between before and after uh, encryption. Uh, the, the model used in, the, in this uh, experiments, uh, it's uh, simple. So uh, such a model uh, can create the, um, uh, the overfitting and add the, the noise can uh, resolve this problem. So it's uh, the reason by uh, the um, uh, 20 clients, uh, you obtain the, the better result with homomorphic encryption. Uh, this slide presents the comparison without and with homomorphic encryption for the work, uh, work group. Uh, the results are similar, but uh, uh, there are a smaller difference, slightly difference. Uh, but the micro average work uh, is the same, 1940%. Uh, uh, so the results are not uh, deteriorate with the OMR free encryption. Thank you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the talk. Uh, we have time Thank for you. one or two quick questions. Uh, so anything of the audience uh, in the back? Yes. Oh, maybe. Okay, if you, I'll repeat your question if you say that. 
Uh, thank you very much for the presentation. On the encryption, the, the, the encryption phase, uh, is there any interdependence between the uh, degree of encryption, basically, the, uh, like with how many digits you are or or how probability is this encryption before an attack or something like that? And the time that it takes to encrypt, and also like uh, whether it will influence later this analysis on the on the training person. Uh, depend on the length of the mechanism that you encrypt it with and how would uh, a different uh, key length influence the, the results that you are presenting. Uh, all of the client uh, has the same uh, uh, private key for the encryption. And, and a longer key would be more robust, but would influence uh, uh, yes, yes, for the avoid the experimentation, we do uh, several tests with uh, classical uh, uh, longer of key. Uh, that will be very interesting in effect to change the default value and uh, to to uh, to have uh, an idea about this modification uh, about the time or about the memory consumption. So yes, that will be uh, interesting to to test uh, in the future uh, with the f future experimentation. Uh -huh. In effect, yes. Thank you.